Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about auxiliary verbs. What they are, why we need them, and how to use them. People sometimes say that the difficult words to learn in English are not the long words, but the short, everyday words, such as have, do, or get. This is because these words are used for many different purposes and have many different meanings. Let's look at the word have, for example. It can convey a meaning of ownership. I have a brown shirt. As in, I have a brown shirt. But it can also mean eat. Hey, what did you have for lunch? I had rice and seafood. Okay. As in, what did you have for lunch? I had rice and seafood. Now what about this sentence? They have left the village. In this sentence, have does not have a meaning on its own, but it combines with the word left to form the present perfect tense. In this case, we say that have is an auxiliary verb. Auxiliary means helping, and an auxiliary verb is sometimes referred to as a helping verb. We have seen that have is used as an auxiliary verb. What other auxiliary verbs are used in English? Let's see some examples. It is raining. It is raining. Is a form of the be verb. Is an auxiliary verb used here to form the present progressive tense. Other forms of the be verb are are, is, was, were, and been. Excuse me, sir. Oops. How can I help you? I don't speak Korean. Do you speak Korean? Of course I do. I don't speak Korean. Do you speak Korean? Do and don't are auxiliary verbs used to form question forms and negatives. So we have seen the use of have, be, and do. These are common auxiliary verbs. So far, we have seen examples of the auxiliary verbs be, do, and have. Other examples of auxiliary verbs are modal verbs, such as will, can, should, or must. It will rain soon. He can sing well. We should meet up sometime. You must be hungry. Other common modal auxiliary verbs are may, might, could, and would. Auxiliary verbs can be used to form progressive or perfect sentences in English. It will be raining is an example of the future progressive form. The action will be happening at a future point. The sentence has two auxiliary verbs, will and be. Auxiliary verbs can be used to form perfect sentences in English. When we are discussing grammar, a perfect sentence describes a completed action. Let's see an example. They have completed their assignments. The auxiliary verb here is have. Why do we need to use auxiliary verbs in English? English is a sophisticated language and the verb phrase can convey multiple meanings, such as questioning, negation, time, completion, continuation, repetition, willingness, possibility, or obligation. Yet the number of verb forms is limited. By using auxiliaries, we can get more out of our verb. In fact, it is common to have multiple auxiliary verbs in one sentence. Listen. The work should have been done by now. This sentence uses three auxiliary verbs, should, have, and been, to convey completion, obligation, and the passive voice. Let's have a quick test. Which of these is an auxiliary verb? If you said, did, then you are correct. Let's try one more. How many auxiliary verbs 
can you spot in this sentence? If you said two, then you are correct. Well done. The auxiliary verbs are must and be. Before we end, let's take a look at a common mistake in English. If someone asks, can you help me? Don't answer them, can. Say, yes, or yes, I can. In English, a yes, no question is answered with yes or no. If you answer can, that may be a direct translation from your mother tongue. That's all we have for today. Bye.